artist since I was 15. All my life I've wanted to be an artist and I've always made a living as an artist. I knew to make a living as an artist I was going to go into advertising. Not as much fun as fine art. I was always trying to figure out what the client wanted. The no-brainer stuff was kind of fun. Here, draw this waffle or this bowl of soup. I got tired of sitting behind a computer. I want to go paint a fountain or a statue somewhere. Little did I know I was going to become obsessed with it, and that's where my heart lies. Somebody said, it's like baseball. You don't, every time you come to the plate, you don't hit a home run. But sometimes you do. And that feels good. And the recognition feels good, too. Sometimes I wished I had done the fine art earlier, but maybe it wasn't time. Maybe I wouldn't have been ready yet. Now I paint almost every day. Even if you're not painting, you're thinking about what you're going to be painting or what problems you might be having with the paint. I grew up in the country, so those are the things that speak to me. And I guess it, it is that the serenity or the solitude I've always been sort of shy and maybe a loner, so you kind of drew within yourself. So now I'm doing things that are sort of lonely or sort of that same sort of thing. That's where I feel comfortable. I love the serenity. It is kind of like a religious experience for me. I feel like I'm so happy. I couldn't be more relaxed or feel any luckier. I think just making a living as an artist is satisfying. I just hope I can keep on doing it. My best friend in college who also is an artist, we've talked about this, he summed it up pretty good by saying, if there is reincarnation, I want to come back as an artist. I don't think I would change much. I think I would just do the same things. Just go paint, and I'm very happy. Mm -hmm.